everyone, welcome back to my channel. So what I have here in front of you is my 2018-2019 Happy Planner. Now this is essentially done. Um, I didn't use it as much as I had hoped I would, but yeah, it's at the end of 2019, so I am in the process of looking for a new one. So until I find it, um, I'm still using this as reference. So what I'm doing today, I'm super excited about, is I am going to show you my new releases for January 2020. So I've designed some of my budgeting stickers for January 2020, and I wanted to show them to you. I know it's super early still, but I wanted to show you what I have so far. I am going to try to expand my Etsy shop by adding weekly kind of decorative things, but I wanted to start with the budget for now since that's the focus of this channel and get the budgeting information out for you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have prepared for January, which I'm super excited about. And then stay tuned for the end because there will be a message for you at the end. All right, so here we go. What I'm doing since I am done with this, I did pull out my Create 365 notes sheets. This comes with lined paper and graph paper at the back. So I'm going to use this to lay some of the stickers out so that you can see them on the paper because it makes a big difference. And then, um, yeah, so let me go ahead and show you the stickers, then we'll lay them out so you can see what they look like. Give me one second. All right, so here are the stickers that I have prepared. Now, one thing you may notice is the paper is going to look different. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera, but the paper is super different. So I, when I started my shop, I really wanted to try and... Um, order paper from a Canadian company. Being a Canadian shop owner, I thought it best to order from a Canadian company. I ordered from two separate companies and the paper quality was not the best. And I actually didn't realize how, I guess, lower quality it was until I ordered these stickers. Now these, this paper, I got from onlinelabels.com. I've heard from so many other shop owners about the excellent quality of this sticker paper and I have to agree it's absolutely amazing. This is the premium matte paper that I got and the vibrancy you get from this paper is amazing. Let me just show you a quick difference. So here is the old paper. You can see the coloring is dull. This is supposed to be a gold glittery pattern and this is supposed to be kind of like a crystal background so little diamonds on the on on the background but you can see the difference in the vibrancy let me try to zoom in and show you that so you can see the difference in the vibrancy of the paper it is such a huge difference so I am happy that I went ahead and ordered that. Now I did print these out for an eight and a half by 11 planner, which is what I use. So once we get to January, I will use these. There's no sense in wasting paper. So I'm still going to use these, but I won't be selling them in my shop. From now on, I'm only selling using the premium matte paper, or I also have a glossy, which if I can find, I did print recently, now this was a misprint, so I printed this recently and it was a misprint, I know this has nothing to do with January, but this is my glossy paper, so I printed um, some white heart checklist boxes on glossy paper, I just wanted to see what it looked like and it was absolutely gorgeous. So. Uh, the reason it's a misprint is because I clicked on the bleed option for the printing and it kind of messed up the printing on the edges but if I pull this up look at how gorgeous this is the quality of this sticker is amazing so this is the glossy option I don't know if you can tell let me put the light up a little bit this is the glossy option so it's absolutely gorgeous so I will be using these and I'm super excited to do so so 
I do have glossy options in my shop if you're interested. Now, let's get back to the actual budget sheet. So, the first one I have here is the transaction log. So, it's very simple. We have the gold glitter um, header, and then we have the one strip with date, amount, category, and description. So these are all for the 7 by 9 planners. It'll work in a happy planner or in an Erin Condren planner. Up to you. So we have the transaction log. Then we have the sinking funds. So this, you get the sinking funds header. Then you get the two thin strips. The first one says category, start, plus, minus, and ending. And then you get the bottom washi for the totals. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but this background on these little thin washies is supposed to look like little diamonds on a table. So it looks really cool. I thought it went very well with, you know, New Year's Eve, kind of shimmering, gold glitter. So I thought it went well together. So that's the sinking funds. Then I have my thin washi strip set. So this has five thin washi strips. There are two in the gold, glitter, and black stripes, two with the regular crystal diamond background, and then one with the black and the gold bow bell situation. It's, a, it's actually a bell with a bow, but you can't see the whole thing, so it just looks like the top end of the bow, and it's a gold glitter, so I thought that looked really cute. So you'll get that. Then I made these cute thick washies. Now this one is specifically for January 2020 because it is New Year's Eve. Um, so I've added a clock that shows almost midnight. I added some ornaments. I added some gold and black balloons. And then the 2020 in gold glitter all on the crystal diamond background. So you get two thick washi strips with that one. The other option for the thick washi strip is the black stripe with the gold um, glitter stripe. So again, you get two thick washi strips with that one. Then I have the budget. Now I have expanded a little bit and I have two separate budget sheet options. So the first one is just the regular one where you have income type, estimated actual plus minus, total income, then you have expense type, budget actual plus or minus total expenses, and then total potential savings, total actual savings. That's the one I currently have in my shop for November and December. For January, I have added the second one. So this is the regular budget. And then the second one I added in my shop for January is the variable budget where I've added, so you have the same income type, total income here, but then you have separate strips for variable expenses and then fixed expenses. And these are separate. If you see, I can pull them up separately. So that's the first one. And then you get the fixed expenses separately. You get total variables and total fixed. So. I saw that a few people are using variable expenses and fixed expenses in their budget planning, so I thought it might be a good idea to go ahead and add this to my shop to give you some variety to see, you know, whatever suits your budget best. So I added that, and when you do place your order in my shop, it will ask you to specify if you want the regular budget or if you want the variable budget um, option and then I can send you the one that you like. And then last, you have the weekly check-in. So same thing, you get the header, you get the five washi strips, and it just says category, spent, and balance, all on the um, crystal diamond background. Then you get weeks one through five, all separately cut, so that you can lay them out on your sheet. So that is the weekly check-in. Now all of this, these seven sheets are offered as the basic budget kit in my shop. So if you are interested in the basic budget kit, you get these seven sheets um, either on matte 
premium matte paper or on glossy paper, up to you, and you can choose if you want the 7x9 size or the 85 by 11 size, but you get this in my shop. You can also request the deluxe budget kit, which is essentially all of this, plus you get an extra four sheets. So the extra four sheets, you get one of this three strip uh, thin washi of the crystal diamond background. You get a variable income for anyone who has any variable income, any side hustles, anything you want to notice uh, to note that way. Sorry. So this just has income type, estimated actual plus or minus, and total income. It's very similar to what you see on the budget, but if you want to have a separate sheet for any side income you might have then that is what you want to use. Then there is also a debt tracker available. So for the debt tracker you get obviously the header. Then here it says debt, beginning balance, payment, extra payment, and then ending balance. So you get these two thin washi strips with that. And then lastly this is longer. This is the 8.5 by 11. I didn't have the 7 by 9 printed, but this is the other thick washi option C, which is the bells with the bow in the gold glitter pattern. So if you are interested in the deluxe budget kit, you get these four sheets along with the original basic budget kit. So that is what is going on for January, getting ready already for the new year. So I'm super excited. I was really looking forward to showing you all this new set that I have already posted in my shop. Now, what I did want to discuss with you is, for anyone who is interested, I am going to do a giveaway. Now, I don't usually like to do giveaways because I'm still a very small... Um, YouTube channel let's say I'm still very small I don't have a lot of subscribers yet but what I'm going to do is for anyone who comments on this video so make sure you comment down below anyone who comments on on anyone who comments on this video and who joins my Instagram follows me on Instagram which will also be linked down below uh, you'll be entered in the draw to win the deluxe monthly budget kit from my shop free of charge and whoever wins I will reach out to you to find out what size you want um, and then if you want the matte paper or the glossy paper you'll get the choice so I'm super excited to be able to offer that to all of you so remember you have to comment down below on this video and you also have to follow me on Instagram and that information will also be down below in the description bar. So now that I've explained what the giveaway is, let me go ahead and show you what this looks like on paper one second. Alright, so now I have my lined paper. I'm just going to pull some of the sheets out. I did zoom you in a little bit so that you could see a little better what's going on. All right, so I have some of the lined paper. So let's go ahead and lay some of this out. So I'm going to start the first sheet with the budget. Now, you've all seen the regular budget because that's the one I used last time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my new budget with the variable expenses and fixed expenses so you can see what it looks like. So let me go ahead and get my washi. I will pull this one and I will lay this down. Oh, see, I'm putting it all crooked already. That's the problem when you're trying to focus, you end up putting your stickers down all crooked. make sure you're still in frame so we have that down I will add the header 
Now the header will cover a little bit of the 2020, but that's okay. So go January budget. If you didn't want to hide the 2020, you can always use one of the other washi strips and then keep that more as decorative. Totally up to you. So we have that. Now let me go ahead. I'll add the first strip for income type. Now I could have, if I wanted to, added another strip to separate the income from the header, but I didn't do it this time. So I will go ahead and pretend like I have a couple income types and I will add my total income strip. Make sure you can still see that. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and do the variable expenses. Now like I said, these are two separate strips and I can't pull them up. Two separate strips. So you have one for variable and one for fixed. Now before I do that, let me just add a separating washi. So I will take this little washi here just to add a bit of color now that I have my hands full of wash uh, stickers just to add a bit of separation. So we'll add that. Then we'll add our variable expenses. And we'll put fixed expenses next to it. I'm having trouble pulling these up for some reason. You know it's always when you're on camera that it tries to give you a hard time. So I'll add the fixed expenses right here. If I can do that without making it crooked. All right. Then I will add the total variable, let's say about here. And then total fixed right here. All right, so now you have those categories. Let me go ahead and add one more strip of washi to separate. This one I will leave kind of a line between. Give you a little bit of space. And then I will put down my total potential savings. Seriously really giving me a hard time today. Just because I want to film this to show it to you, it's causing me trouble. Alright, here we go. Now I got it. I have a piece of sticker here. Alright. So we'll put this down here. And there we go. So we have the first sheet done, which is our budget. So one sheet down put that off to the side. Now on the back, let's see, what can we add? We will add, I think we'll do our weekly check-in and maybe just to show you, we'll do our variable income just because some people might want that. So usually this would be in your book and you would have another sheet next to it. So then you'd have a weekly check-in and variable income. So I'm going to go ahead and lay those down. I will use this washi for this one to show you what it looks like with the header on it. Turn this upside down. Try to get it on straight. put it too far over. Oh, well. get the point. So there's that. I will do the weekly check-in first. So we'll put the header on. That looks cute. Then we will go ahead and put our thin washi strips for each of the weeks. So I will start this one up here since it's contrast to 
the fake washi that's already there. Let's do that. Now I'm not measuring this out based on my budget since this is just to show you what it looks like on the sheet of paper. You, uh, when you're putting this down, you would want to count out all of the items you want to list or track every week and then that's the amount of space you would leave in between. But So that we can just have an idea of what this looks like down on paper. I'm just going to lay it down. All right now we have our washi strips. I'm going to go ahead and add the weeks. So we have week one. We have week two. Week three, week four, and then week five. Make sure you can still see that. So week five. And what I'll do so that we just finish this off, I will add a thin strip of plain washi at the bottom just to finish it off, make it look nice. So there you go, we have our weekly check-in all laid out. So I think that looks cute. Now let's go ahead and put down our, what did I say I wanted to put there? Wasn't it the debt tracker, I think? No, it wasn't. Ah, it was a variable income. So I will use this washi again. And see, it's always giving me a hard time. All right, there we go. Put this upside down again. All right, so we have the washi. That's one strip down. Make sure you're still in frame. We're going to put the variable income header. So this is something new for me. I've never tracked variable income before. Um, I've never really had a reason to, but now that I have YouTube and I started my Etsy shop, it is something that I will be interested in tracking once, once I get to the point where I'm actually making money. Right now that's not quite the case, but, you know, it's slowly getting there. So, put this down. Now this, you might have a few options. I know I watch Shea Budgets, and she has quite a few different variable incomes. That girl is busy, so, I mean, good for her. That's awesome. So, she would need a lot of room. I probably wouldn't, so I'm just going to add a few spaces here like that so then we have our variable income now what I'm going to do so that I'm not wasting paper is I will put my sinking funds down here because also I don't have a lot of sinking funds right now actually right now I don't have any sinking funds I don't have anything set up yet so I'm just going to go ahead and lay down a piece of washi for this, I'm just going to use this one for now. I will put this right here. Try to put it down straight. Now this paper is removable. You do have to fight with it a little bit, but it is removable. I can promise you that. So I'm going to put the sinking fund header down. Again, it will cover the 2020. Right, then I will add this strip that says category, start, plus, minus, and ending, and I put that down really crooked, but I'm going to leave it for now. 
And then I'm going to add the bottom washi, which is for the totals. So there we go. So we have variable income sinking funds. We have our weekly check-in. And we have our budget so far. All right, I think the last sheet, last two sheets probably, would be the debt tracker and transaction log. Now I didn't print more thick washi strips for this video, so I don't want to go ahead and waste any more paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay these down without um, any of the thick washi. What I will do though is I will lay something across here just to hide the date and notes. That way it doesn't look so weird. So I will take what I have left of my thin washi. I'll take one strip and lay this down. Try to hide it the best that I can while keeping it semi straight which is not the greatest. So I'm going to put the transaction log on this one. Now most people do leave a whole page for the transaction log just so that you have enough room to write everything you need. So here I will leave a little bit of room to show the washi. It looks kind of cute so you have an option. You could use thin washi as well if you want to add uh, a difference. Now notice here my thick washi is sticking out I would recommend starting at the edge and working your way in, that way you don't have that problem. But that's easy, a pair of scissors, you can cut that off, no problem. So we have, for the transaction log, one thin washi strip, which I will put right here, and all it has is date, amount, category, and description. So then you could list your um, transactions here and you can use this to work on your weekly check-in and then uh, verify your budget and use your monthly view as well. So we have that. And then lastly, next sheet will be the debt tracker, which is everyone's absolute favorite. So I will use my last thin washi strip from this page. And again, I will try to cover this up the best that I can. Alright, so we have that. So that's one of the crystal diamond patterns. I will add the debt tracker header. Again, I'll offset a little bit so you can see the pattern behind it. it looks cute. Then I will add the washi for this. What we have the first washi strip which just has debt, beginning balance, payment, extra payment, and ending balance which you could list all your debts here and then the final washi which I will put let's say halfway through the page just has the white boxes they're kind of white transparent boxes. I don't know if you can see that. So they're white transparent boxes so that you can write your total here that matches up with each column. So that's that. So that's our stickers for the January 2020 budget kit. Now remember if you want to win the deluxe budget kit for January, Remember, you need to comment down below and you need to follow me on Instagram and that link will also be below in the description box. And then this kit can be yours for free. And like I said, you will be able to choose if you want the seven by nine or eight and a half by 11 option and also if you want the matte paper or glossy. So that's all I have for this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you like this budget getting ready for the new year remember to like and subscribe to my channel any help you can give me is appreciated to grow my channel and i will see you in my next video thanks everyone bye